Hi, I'm Phil Davis. I'm a UFC light heavyweight contender. I ended up here in San Diego because uh, I became friends with Brandon Vera. He's uh, also a UFC uh, light heavyweight contender. And uh, he just took me under his wing, told me to move out here, and put me up at his house for a little while. And here I am. We're out here training together. I got my nickname, Mr. Wonderful, from my cat in college. His name was Mr. Wonderful. And I don't know what happened to my cat. My roommate says he ran away, and I sort of believe him. But uh, long story short, Mr. Wonderful, there was a party, and I was out of town, and my cat ended up missing, and whenever I uh, decided to start fighting, my, uh, my friends from college thought that Mr. Wonderful would be a good nickname. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to be on the cover of a magazine. Um, even, even though I kind of wanted to have a successful career, I never imagined being in a video game or on the cover of a magazine. So it's just super cool and very, it's a very surreal feeling to like see yourself in the airport, you know. And, like, it's uh, it's kind of crazy feeling. It's pretty cool. My training regimen here uh, consists of mostly two training sessions a day. Um, outside of training camp. Inside of training camp, uh, it can be as much as four training sessions a day. Uh, usually it's around two or three, um, depending on what I have going on. Um, and that's my, uh, I do that every single day, in training camp, out of training camp. Uh, it's my nine to five. I'm known for wearing pink shorts, and uh, that decision came about because uh, American Cancer Society and Pink Ribbon is uh, something I, I put on my, my shorts and my banner every fight. And um, at one point, I had uh, no more space left on my, my shorts to add the, the pink ribbon. So we were kind of at a, you know, a stand, we didn't know what to do. So um, my manager, will, they kind of asked me, you know, is it okay if we take pink ribbon off? And uh, I, absolutely not, you know. Uh, we're we're going to have to tell our sponsors, we're going to have to work something out. But, uh, but we are contracted to have uh, that that ad space given to someone else. So uh, what we ended up doing was, uh, it started off kind of as a joke. Why don't we just make the whole shirts pink? I was like, uh, yeah, we can do that. You know, I'm down with that. And then they were like, really? I was like, yeah, let's do it. Well, you know, I'll wear pink shorts, and then it went from there. I'm not the only guy that wears pink, but I just think I'm the best guy that wears pink. It works well for me. You know, I, I have pretty smooth skin, and, and that's one of those things. Pink brings out smooth skin. Why do you think Mary Kay? Their color is pink. They're all about skin, and that's we. It works well for me. So the submission they named after me. Um, it's kind of a adaptation of my own um, move of off a of Kimura, and uh, I basically used uh, normally a Kimura is done with two hands and I kind of switched and did it with one hand so it's a little different but um, yeah Joe Rogan named it the, the Mr. Wonderful and uh, I, and then my fans online renamed it the Wonder Bar or the Phil Mora so uh, it has a couple of names but they're all pretty cool. There's not too many people outside the UFC that I really want to punch in the face. Uh, uh, I don't know. See, I'm not really that violent once I get out of the actual octagon. Once I get out of the octagon, I'm all about problem solving and, and talking things out. Growing up, I looked up to like the Hawkster, Ultimate Warrior. I really thought, I, I, I still do it. I still think the Ultimate Warrior is a little bit crazy. Um, at any point, the Ultimate Warrior could come in here and I would be scared to death. <laughs> Stare down is never really that intense. It's uh, it's not very intimidating, but it's kind of hard to intimidate me because I don't really. A lot of people like look at the other guy and size him up and kind of go off of that, and uh, I don't really do that. So it's awkward. It's more awkward than anything, really. It's like you have to do it, but I don't want to like pretend to be tough because I'm I'm really not that tough. I just, I just beat people up, that's what I do, that's what I do, but I'm not really that tough, so the whole stare down thing is just, <sighs> it makes me laugh. Okay, here goes my stare down. See, can't do it for that long. I'll put that in there.